Oliver, we're talking about Danone today, um, big, boring French uh, dairy nutrition group, um, Avian Water, um, Activia, yogurt, that sort of thing. Um, shares up 5% today, which is quite a lot for a company like that. Why is that? So the fourth quarter of their financial year, the, the end of last year, turned out to be not, not to have been too bad. Their the big problem areas in Europe, particularly in the dairy business in Europe, which is the, one of the biggest parts of their business, that's had a lot of trouble in the fourth quarter, wasn't so bad there. And there was also a fairly decent recovery in the US. So a, a sort of short-term boost to the shares, 5% increase. And that's, that's been one side of the story, um, the top line, that seems to be okay now. Um, another lingering problem with Danone perhaps is margins, what's happening? Yeah, so margins are down again because of this problem in European dairy and, and their answer to this is to launch a, a cost-cutting uh, initiative. They want to save 200 million of costs over the next few years. It's quite a big number, 200 million, but it's only about 1% of their total cost base. So you can see if there's a bit more pressure on the top line than they expect, then those savings are easily going to be eat up and they're going to be faced margin pressure once again. So the outlook for that, far from clear, I'd say. And they always seem to be doing some kind of reinvention every year. Um, your impression that this one is sort of will stick more than previous ones? Well, we'll have to see. They, they say that uh, last year was a year of step change and this year is a year of transition and 2014 is a year of growth. I just wonder if their transition will be finished by the end of 2013. Yes, they're cutting costs, they're hoping for some stability in their core markets. And, and they've got some growth outside dairy, particularly their infant nutrition and water businesses. Lots of growth there and lots of growth in Asia, like lots of consumer products businesses. So they're, they're hoping that this year the combination of growth there and the, the cost cutting will, will move them on to a more sort of stable footing for 2014. But I, I just wonder if it'll take a little longer than perhaps they expect. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about valuation. I mean, the shares have underperformed over the last year, as you'd expect um, a big risk rally, but they've pretty much shot the lights out over two, five, ten years. They've outperformed any any benchmark you care to measure. 16 times forward earnings. How does I, that look, do you think? I think that sounds like a lot for a company that makes and sells yogurt in Europe. I mean, it's, it's not, its core markets aren't great. Uh, there's been a bit of stability in its valuation. As Nelson Peltz, the, the US activist, he's taken a stake in, uh, in, in Danone, he did that last year. So that suggests that he sees some value there. But for me, 16 times earnings for a company whose core markets are trouble looks, looks fairly expensive. All right, well, a nice 5% pop for shareholders today. 16 times, maybe a bit rich to be jumping in at these levels. Thank you very much for that update.